San Luis Valley in Colorado is a region rich in traditions, whose roots come from a history developed over centuries by Native American, European, and distinct regional cultures. This cultural process is still going on in the valley, demonstrating continual change while maintaining the essence of its origins. Today on Valley Traditions we present Hispanic musical traditions of southern Colorado and northern New Mexico. Spanish explorers led by Juan de Oñate claimed present-day New Mexico and southern Colorado for Spain. Hispanic pioneers from Spain and Mexico began to settle this region in the late 16th century. In the San Luis Valley of southern Colorado, which was the northernmost outpost of this culture area, permanent towns were not established until the late 18th century. The descendants of these early settlers have retained many of the traditional arts that were developed and passed on by their grandparents. For example, Spanish colonial dance tunes dating back to the early 19th century are still played at dances throughout northern New Mexico and southern Colorado. This medley of a valse, a polka, and a cuna is played by the Manzanares family of San Pablo, Colorado. Traditional instrumentation for the Spanish colonial dance tunes is a violin and guitar ensemble. The music has been adapted recently to a wide range of instruments. Juan Chacón, the one-man band of San Luis, Colorado, plays a cuna on accordion, organ, and drums.
Much of the Hispanic folk music of the upper Rio Grande region is geared towards specific celebrations such as Christmas, New Year's, weddings, and Saints' Days. On each night of the nine days leading up to Christmas, for example, the town of Alamosa, Colorado is serenaded by the verses of Las Posadas. The verses reenacting Joseph and Mary's search for lodging are sung today in the San Luis Valley as they are in many parts of the United States and Mexico. The following excerpt of Las Posadas was recorded on December 21, 1985 at Vincent and Esther Lopez's house in Alamosa. No me importa el nombre, déjenme dormir, pues que ya les digo que no hemos de abrir. Posada te pide. Serenading Neighbors is also done in the wee hours of the morning on New Year's Eve in many parts of northern New Mexico and southern Colorado. This custom is known as Dando los Dias, or Giving the Days. The musicians, traditionally a violinist, a guitarist, and at least one poeta or poet, start serenading families in the community at midnight and continue until noon the following day. The poetas have the task of spontaneously making up verses in a process called oral composition. The following versos del Año Nuevo were recorded on January 1, 1986 in Costilla, New Mexico. The poetas are Bernie and Dennis Torres and Gustavo Vallejos. <laughs> Miento. 
The traditional Hispanic wedding of this region provides another opportunity to local poetas to improvise verses in a song entitled La Entrega de los Novios, or The Giving Away of the Bride and Groom. The singer or entregador begins the song with a series of verses describing the church wedding, as in this example sung by Lorraine Martinez Logston of Capulín, Colorado. The latter portion of the Entrega de los Novios consists of improvised verses called Los Versitos de la Gente, or the People's Verses, which are composed in honor of the newlyweds, their parents, godparents, and family members. These verses are often humorous in tone and can last, according to some accounts, up to two hours. The following Versitos de la Gente were composed by Candelaria Torres and sung by Rieta Arellano in honor of a couple on their 50th wedding anniversary in Amalia, New Mexico. Celebrations are held throughout the San Luis Valley of Southern Colorado every year, such as Dia de San Juan in Center in Ortiz, Dia de Santiago y Dia de Santa Ana in Chama in San Luis, and Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe in Conejos and Alamosa. 
The festivities include a mass in honor of the saint, followed by parades, barbecues, horse races, and musical entertainment. The mass features special hymns in honor of the saints, such as this hymn entitled Buenos Dias Paloma Blanca, or Good Day White Dove, in honor of the Virgin of Guadalupe. It is sung here by the Martinez family of Capulín, Colorado. Because of its relative geographic isolation for many generations, the upper Rio Grande region has retained numerous older forms of folklore that have virtually disappeared elsewhere in the Spanish-speaking world. The Romance or Spanish Ballad, dating back to the 13th century, can still be found in the repertoires of local singers. Candelaria Torres of Costilla, New Mexico, sings a romance entitled Delgadina, which tells the tragic story of a princess who refuses the ancestral advances of her father, the king. Su papá le contestó, aquí se hace lo que digo. Si tú no me obedeces, yo te pongo en un castigo. Júntense en los once criados, encierren a Delgadina. Remachen bien los candados, no se oiga su voz ladina. Papacito de mi vida, tu castigo estoy sufriendo. Mándame un vaso de agua que de se me estoy muriendo. Júntense en los once criados, llévenle agua delgadina. Unos en vasos dorados, otros en copas de china. Cuando le llevaron agua, delgadina estaba muerta. Con sus bracitos cruzados, también su boquita seca. La cama de delgadina de ángel estará rodeada. La cama del rey, su padre de demonios condenada. Colotitos, 
sentado en una peña sentado en una peña lloraba el tecolotito lloraba el tecolotito uh, 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 uh. pájaro cua 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 pájaro cua 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 pobrecito animalito tiene hambre el tecolotito uh, 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 uh. Triste y miendo y llorando, triste y miendo y llorando, te quejaba el tecolotito, te quejaba el tecolotito. Uh, 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 uh. Pájaro cua cua cua, pájaro cua cua cua, pobrecito animalito, tiene hambre el tecolotito. Uh, 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 uh. La Indita is an Hispanic type of folk song that is indigenous to northern New Mexico. La Indita, or the Little Indian, incorporates a Native American musical style with Spanish text. Cleofes Vejil of San Cristobal, New Mexico, sings an Indita he learned from his grandmother entitled El Tecolotito, or the Little Owl. He accompanies himself on mandolin. De colote de donde vienes, de colote de donde vienes, del pueblo del colorido, del pueblo del colorido. Uh, 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 uh. Vengo a traer de una noticia, vengo a traer de una noticia que mi amor está perdido, que mi amor está perdido. Uh, 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 uh. Pájaro cua cua cua, pobrecito animalito, tiene hambre el tecolotito. Uh, 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 uh. Folk music, while it retains strong traditional patterns, is constantly being recreated by each new singer and composer. Often the tunes from well-known folk songs are given new words, making the song a fusion of old and new. One example of this kind of composition is Los Versos del Valle de San Luis, the verses of the San Luis Valley. This song was composed by Charlie Jaques of San Luis to the tune of Las Mañanitas. It is sung here by Charlie's son, Freddy Jaques, and Pedro Gomez. Lechugas de la 
la garita al piñón ya viene amaneciendo y a la luz del día nos dio levantarte de mañana mira que ya amaneció San Luis bailes antiguos, cultillos y varsovianas, a que las bailen de noche y otras piezas mexicanas. Semillas bailen estas piezas temprano antes que se va. Acompañados con lira, el conjunto nuevo asla. De las placitas del valle les piden de corazón a nuestras madres queridas que nos den su bendición. Ya viene amaneciendo y a la luz del día nos dio. Levantarte de mañana, mira que ya amaneció. The Hispanic folk music of northern New Mexico and southern Colorado continues to flourish and grow in this region thanks to the talented individuals and families who carry on their musical heritage. Played on every occasion from casual family gatherings to wedding dances to saints festivals, these songs and dance tunes reflect but a tiny portion of the vast traditional repertoire in the upper Rio Grande region of the southwest. This has been Valley Traditions. A cultural portrait of the people of the San Luis Valley and their folklore. Produced by Dana Everts for KRZA-FM and the Rio Grande Arts Center of Alamosa, Colorado. with funding from the National Endowment for the Arts and the Colorado Council on the Arts and Humanities Folk Arts Program. Musical theme by the Manzanares family. Narration by Elaine Salazar. <laughs>